Sieger Storm Munich for various famous victory games. The wonderful Sieger Storm Munich is an amazing piece of architecture that's styled on the famous Arch of Constantine that can be found in central Rome. The traits from the Arc de Triomphe in Paris and from Berlin's Brandenburg Gate also appear apparent, as there are striking similarities in some of the structural design aspects of the Sieger Storm to both of those well-known, world-famous landmarks. Siegestor actually translates in English as Victory Gate, and that title is suitably apt, especially considering the structure was built specifically to pay homage to the exploits of the Bavarian army's role in defeating Napoleon Bonaparte and driving his armies from Germany. This event is clearly evident from the depictions of Bavarian soldiers in battle that are inscribed onto the walls of the Victory Gate. The design of the Siegestor Munich this is one of Bavaria's most famous architectural marvels, and at 21 metres in height, 24 metres in breadth, and 12 metres in depth, the Victory Arch totally commands the surrounding area between the districts of Schwabing and Maxrostadt. With a lion quadriga, a chariot, sitting atop, the Sieger still gives off a powerful, almost mystical aura that is hard to miss for any visitor to this part of Munich. Unlike the usual shaped quadriga, such as that which adorns the apex of the Brandenburg Gate, the Siegestor's quadriga sports four lions pulling the chariot rather than four horses. The lions signify Bavarian heritage and sit proudly as testament to the powerful Wurtbush family dynasty who had ruled Bavaria over half a millennia. With a dedication inscribed in the north side of the Siegestor, which reads, Dembarish and here, for the Bavarian army, it's no wonder that this impressive construction is so popular with war historians, avid photographers and tourists alike. But who built the Siegestor? Well, it was Bavarian King Ludwig I who commissioned the best architectural talents of the time to come up with the concept of the Siegestor as a war memorial. King Ludwig then entrusted those architectural candidates with the Victory Gates conception in the early part of 1842. Ludwig himself actually paid for the memorial archway from his own pocket at a cost at the time of 420,000 florins. Finally, and after much deliberation, it was architect Friedrich von Gartner who came up with the agreed-on design of the Victory Arch and who oversaw the Siegestor Munich construction in 1843. Coincidentally, Gartner had spent time on his architectural education in both Rome and Paris, where he had certainly gained a measure of inspiration for the Siegestor's design. Unfortunately, Gartner passed away in April of 1847, so it was left to his apprentice, Edward Metzger, to complete the construction of the Siegestor Gate in 1852. Breathtakingly beautiful in its physicality, the vintage Gothic neoclassical design of the Victory Arch has a bronze effigy of Lady Bavaria, designed and sculpted by artist Johann Martin von Wagner, riding the chariot atop the Siegestor. The Lady Bavaria is meant to be a female representation of the Bavarian homeland, who expresses the strength and glory that is Bavaria. The Destruction and Resurrection of the Siegestor The devastating aftermath of the Second World War in Munich saw the Victory Gate heavily damaged, and it was decided by city administrators that the memorial should be completely dismantled. Thankfully, this did not happen, and instead plans were made to restore it to its original and glorious condition. After being painstakingly repaired and fully reconstructed, the Victory Gate was declared a monument of peace, and the words dedicated to victory, destroyed by war, urging peace, were inscribed upon it. Where is the Siegestor Gate in Munich? Well, the Victory Gate is located where Ludwigstrasse ends and Leopoldstrasse begins, right by the Ludwig Maximilian University campus just to the north of downtown Munich. To get there, well, you can walk to the Siegestor Munich it's about 1.5 kilometres from the city centre from Marienplatz. A train, the closest U-Bahn underground station is Universität uh, München, which is on both the U3 and the U6 lines. Uh, it's only about 200 metres up Ludwigstrasse from U-Bahn station. At night, the monument is illuminated wonderfully, and you can almost imagine those triumphant Bavarian troops from the German-Franco war marching beneath the arches into the city. Nearby to the Siegestor Munich, you'll find the English Gardens, the Munich Residence, Konigsplatz, Munich's Hopfgarten, and so much more. There's plenty of things to see and do in the immediate vicinity, and you could easily spend a long afternoon here enjoying the sights of the area. <laughs>